Hello Stream Magic crew, how are you guys? My name is Jose and for the technical test, for the third question, I decided instead of just making a normal uh, explanation in like detail by writing, I thought it would be a cool way to actually show you guys how I thought of this and how I approach this problem. And I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So here I have drawn a configuration and each of these squares is a square of width of one and our objective is given an array of inputs containing the height of this configuration which in our case is 3, 1, 1, 2 we want to know how much water can contain in this configuration that's specified by the user here we can clearly see that given this specific input our output will be 2 so Given our original array, what I'm going to do is that we're going to iterate through it and, every, and we're going to create a new array and we're going to store there the maximum value found so far in this array. And I'm going to just show it because it's a lot simpler to show. So what we want is going to be coming here and going to 3. Is, th is 1 bigger than 3? No. So we keep 3. Is 1 bigger than 3? No. So we keep 3. Is 2 bigger than 3? No, we keep 3. So, we found our new array of values that's read from left to right, because that's what we do when we loop through a list normally. We read from left to right. Okay, so now we have this list. What we want to do is do the same thing, but right to left. So, we're going to call this new array RL, right to left, and here, in our original configuration, we have 2. So it's going to be 2. Is 1 bigger than 2? No. Is 1 bigger than 2? No. Is 3 bigger than 2? Yes. So we keep 3. So, our next step now is we're going to calculate the minimum of these two newly created arrays per element. What is this? It's very simple. You just call a new one, call min2 and which one is the minimum of these two? it's the same, so it's going to be 3 which is the minimum of this? it's 2 which is the minimum of this? it's 2 which is the minimum of this? it's 2 ok right now you can realize that these two are the same but there are some specific configuration where this doesn't happen and this is why this is a very important step in our algorithm because we want our algorithm to work with any specified configuration so how are we going to implement this? very very simply we're going to grab our min2 list which is 3, 2, 2, 2 and we're going to subtract our original list which is 3, 1, 1, 2 and here we're going to get the water so 3 minus 3 is 0 because here we don't have any water, water block so next 2 minus 1, 1 the same for the next one, 1 because as you can see we have 1 and 2 blocks of water and the next we have no block of water, so 0 so now, very simple, we just sum all the elements in this array and we get our total volume of water so finally I'm going to explain why I use the minimum through the use of this use case so, we use the minimum because water can only be contained between two pillars and can only go as high as the shortest pillar as demonstrated here <coughs> so here we have the left to right maximum and the right to left maximum and I'm gonna draw these ones so first the left to right and you can see if we would be to subtract this new configuration with the original configuration we get some water, of course, but also we get four blocks of air, which don't amount to anything. And the same for the red one, for the left to right one, which is the red one, we get also here two blocks of air that we don't need. But with the minimum, we end up with the exact configuration that we need to subtract to the original in order to get our. Uh, volume of water, which in this case is 4. 
to finish this off, thank you so much for giving this opportunity. I, I hope this clarifies the, the problem. I hope this helps to understand how I think. And you can find the implementation below. It's written in Python. And that's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it.